Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 9. In the last episode, Sasha died, which sucks. Um, and yeah, it seems like the Zeke was in on the plan to attack and everything. Um, so I guess we will see what we will maybe find out more about the plan, what's going on and everything, and we will see what happens next. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to this episode. Who is he talking to? Maybe Annie in her crystal form? Because we know he had like some kind of connection to her. And there is Aaron, maybe? Or Armin? Aaron breaking the ship? Like the dude back with Grisha? Where he came out of the water and then like breaks the ship over his neck? <laughs> With the blade to the back. Oh my god, Andri. Um, he should rather worry about the titan behind him. Right? He forgot the small detail. Did Sasha kill him? Oh no, oh, her. <coughs> wow. So Zeke sent them to make contact. Who is... I mean, we know that she is a follower of Zeke's, right? But I can't remember seeing her from the previous seasons. So I wonder how... I want to know more about her. Let's see. And now they just send scouts. And that's how they got guns. And she gives all the information. <coughs> A million men spread across 50 divisions, okay. All the information. Jesus. Other countries, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Normal weapons don't do much, I guess. It's an irony. Subarashi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the female titan was like one of the main weapons? Interesting. But I guess they still want revenge. And that's why they give all the information. I can see that they are on the edge about it. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, 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 wait. So, Aaron has the founding titan because Grisha ate the founding titan, right? Now, Aaron has the founding titan because Aaron ate Grisha. So, Aaron has the tech titan and the, and the uh, founding titan. But Aaron has no royal blood. The Warhammer titan has royal blood, right? So, by drinking the blood, did that activate the ability to use the founding titan's power? Is that why he drank the blood juice of the War Titan? Warhammer Titan? Oh, that makes so much sense right now. Oh boy, if that's what it is. Oh. Save the world by killing everyone else. When he touched Historia. 
Oh no, this time, yeah! Yeah, but he also, when he touched Historia, right? <laughs> you idiot. The crazy thing is right now is, I thought that back then when, <clears throat> that back then when Aaron punched Diana Fritz, Diana Fritz, whatever, that it was him. I didn't make the connection that it's because she was royal blood and because he came into contact with her that that activated the founding titan's ability. I mean, who would make the connection, right? Even if you know that she is royal blood, you, you wouldn't make the connection. That I guess most people, I guess, wouldn't make the connection. Oh, just by touching her, you can activate the founding titan ability in yourself. I thought, because I thought it had to be like the blood inside of you that you need, right? Not if you just touch skin of someone that has royal blood. So it's very crazy how this works. I thought it was just maybe like Eren that could activate it somehow for some reason. <clears throat> that Eren was maybe special in some way. Because Grisha had this all planned out, right? But again, it comes around that Eren is not that special, right? It's just that he... It's because of other things that it happened, not because of him. <laughs> Every time you think like, oh my god, Aaron is maybe special. No, he's not. Oh my god. Sneaky. Armin? I want, I want to say, Armin or Aaron? And surrounded. Oh, <laughs> Those were fun times. All the technology. Meeting other races. <laughs> Cheese everything. Doesn't matter. I guess I'm in love. Dang, Mikasa in the skirt. I mean, if he would have gotten the memories, I guess we would have already known by now. <laughs> With people that absolutely hate us. Mm -hmm. Just because of you can change that hate Marlene anyways doesn't mean that the Malanes will change. Not anymore. I wonder what changed Eren, because back in those flashbacks he still seems like his usual self, I would say, just not as high-spirited, right? More like a bit more like a little bit more emotionless, but what we have right now in season 4 is like dead. No emotions whatsoever, pretty much. Like, I mean, we saw someone he knew and when he heard that Sasha was dead, but except that, we saw so far no emotions from him, from him in season 4. Is this the current time? Is this Sasha's grave? Yep, this is in the current time. And he liked her a lot, I guess. Thanks for feeding her. <laughs> oh my god. That's how he can make her the happiest. I mean, they were around for a long time and it was life and death for them. They don't like each other. Wow, they also got this stuff? For what? What do they want to use it for? I guess without them, the whole thing could never work. They wouldn't get the technology and all that stuff. Nothing. So 
So yeah, they are hostages, obviously. <clears throat> oh, she is so mad. <laughs> I really wonder if she comes around. But Eren wouldn't have survived alone. Alone he would be dead. I mean, the same happened to them again. Yep, talking to Annie. I wonder if she comes out at some point, maybe. And if she sides with them or against them. Damn, he is ripped. <laughs> God damn, man, what an episode. Yeah, I would say this was a great, informative episode where we basically got told everything that happened now, like three years ago up to this point, how they got the plan, how they kind of prepared. And it's interesting, I would say, because like when you know this stuff now, it's very interesting to see that they only had the technology to do all of the stuff to make the plan work because they get help from Zeke's follower, um, which are basically spies in the Malayan army that want to help the Eldians. Um, and if you imagine they wouldn't have gotten all these informations, like how many soldiers there are, what they are equipped with, what technology have and everything, how everything works, the weapons they have. If they would have gone without that information, they would have been slaughtered right away. They would have no chance against the anti-Titan -titan shells, all the guns they had and everything. They had like, they would go in blind and they would be dead. And because we also found out that the only reason that Malayne didn't came to Paradise Island and slaughtered them and got the founding Titan by force basically, was because of the Titans, because they don't have that much like weapon like weapons and stuff to deal with the Titans really, that amount of Titans, and because they had like wars and fights with other countries, right? So they had to deal with other things and couldn't just mobilize everyone for Paradise Island. And it's it's very interesting to see. And I, I it's it's also makes me wonder like still Annie, I mean we didn't see her since season one basically and she's still in the crystal. And it makes me wonder, I have like this, I have like really, one of the things I'm wondering the most about is, is will some of the characters from Malayne, from those Eldians or something like Falco and Gabi, will they come around and maybe side with Eren and others? Or will they keep being mad and always stay on the Malayne side and stuff? Um, so I wonder if... I guess Annie will come outside of the crystal at some point, right? I, I mean, it would be weird if she just stays in the crystal for the rest of the show and that's it and you just forget about her, basically. And if she comes out, then I'm wondering, will she side with us or will she be against us again? And same with Gabi and Falco. Maybe if, I wonder if they find out, like, maybe, maybe Zeke will talk with them at some point if he gets, like, the, okay, you are cool. You can go around freely and just be one of us, basically. I wonder if he will go to them and explain everything to them. And then maybe they come around, right? Because they see Zeke as like this great guy, right? Um, the war chief. Um, or maybe they, when, if Zeke t talks to them, if he talks to them, um, maybe they will be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Those are the enemies and they will keep being mad. Um, it's, it's, this is like one of the most interesting things for me right now is to see if they come around at some point and will side with us or not, or if they stay, like, mad and angry and want revenge. Um, if they maybe find out the whole story, why everything happened now. Um, and, yeah. Good episode, I would say. And I guess we will see what happens next, because right now we are, like, on Paradise Island again. And so I guess the next few episodes will be more on the slow side, more information, more stuff but i guess not really much action because i guess for action we, we would have to go back to malayne right but yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and thanks for watching until next time Bye bye